On third and long, it's Carr. Cooper's got it. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mention, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to in coverage, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Carr going to throw here. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And eventually stop just shy of the goal line right around the two. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. You gotta give some credit there, able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. All right, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And this is Clark, it's Cooper. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third and goal. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Play action. Now it's Carr. That's caught at the one. It'll be a three-yard gain, and they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Hard to throw for on fourth down. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. Now another shot here at the PAT. was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play. And oh, he's going to be hit and driven into the turf. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. In the slot on the right is Graham. On second down, here's Wilson. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Here's Wilson, and that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. I've become a firm believer over the years that many drops happen before the ball's even snapped. When you call wide receiver screen, as we saw there, I know these guys really well. They're thinking about that play going to the end zone, and sometimes they forget to catch the football first. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. He's got, And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. 
the practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And Cooper's got a big game going. That's complete again. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Charles, this is not an easy place to win. They are known for having such a great crowd. But how about that? They came in here, they were determined from the opening kick, and they got it done. And they've done such a great job at putting an excellent team on the field. But the architects that built this stadium to keep the noise in, and that crowd responds in a big way, but you're exactly right. Hard to believe that people can still come in here and win the game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Seattle, so long, everybody.